Hey everybody, I'm Andy Smith, your hostess with the mostess. I'm a 30 year comic book veteran, having worked for Marvel Comics, DC Comics, Image Comics, Cross Generation, Ominous Press, you name it, I've probably worked for them. And I do other things art wise outside of comics in the field of advertising. I've also written some books on drawing comics you might have seen, uh, drawing American manga superheroes, Drawing Dynamic Comics was my first book. And I also did the handy little How to Draw Superhero sketchbook where all you need is a pencil because you do all the work right inside the book. Enough about that. This is the Book Look series. The Book Look series is where I grab a book off my library. You can see the tons of books I have behind me. And I go through it page by page with you so you can see if it's a book that you might want to buy. I like to know what I want to buy before I buy it, and I feel this is a way to give you some insight into these books. So join me for today's book look. Thanks. Well, Heidi, ho, hello there. This is Andy Smith, your 31-year veteran of the comic book industry, doing yet again another book look with you guys. And as I promised, these are Charteron's books that I drew easy reader books, different levels here. What levels? I don't know what level this one is. Uh, but anyhow, this is a reading two with help. This, I believe, is a little more advanced. Uh, I think I drew six to eight of these books in total. Um, these are the ones I can find right now. I also did some Marvel ones for Guardians of the Galaxy, Avengers uh, Infinity War and Endgame. I think Captain America Civil War. So anyhow, I've worked on a bunch of these, but I thought it'd be fun to go through these with you guys and uh, relive some memories. Once again, I just pulled these off my bookshelf. I haven't looked at these in years. Um, I remember this, well, let's see if I can do these in order. Uh, I think it was this one, this one, this one, and this one. So we'll we'll go with that as the order. So I think I did Batman uh, Battle in Metropolis uh, first out of these four. This was definitely not the first one I drew. I remember working with the editor and he sent me kind of this cover layout he was looking for, kind of based on a Jim Lee cover. And, uh, you know, when your editor sends you something reference-wise and says, I really like this, you know, you don't sit there and go, sweet, and then do something else. You go, okay, so this is this is pretty much based on a Jim Lee pose, if I remember correctly. The whole composition might have been as well. I, I don't know. Anyhow, uh, there it is by John. This is uh, Cliss and illustrated by me. Colors by my buddy Brad Venkata. As always, worked with Brad on this gig. Uh, I wanted to uh, get somebody else, even though I could color in this style. Once again, it came down to the deadlines. And kind of like I said before, these are fun because you just get to draw the big heroic shots of characters. You don't draw the mundane stuff that you would have to draw in a comic book. Don't get me wrong. That's part of the storytelling process in comics I like is drawing mundane stuff like a close up of a hand answering a phone. But every now and then doing this was fun. I got to do the simpler style compared to my usual comic book stuff. As you can tell, if you want to see my usual comic book stuff, you can go back. First Man on Indiegogo now. Link in the description below. Uh, so yeah, simpler style. I got to draw classic Batman. Uh, the blue, the gray, and the yellow around the bat symbol. Uh, these books were, you know, meant to be for kids. So it's a simpler style. Batman's a little thinner than I would normally draw him. I usually would draw Batman a lot more buffer than this, but, you know, I tried and they said, hey, what are you doing? He's not the Hulk. Then I wasn't doing them that big. Got to draw this old bat plane here. Classic Joker, Lex Luthor. What are these guys cooking up? I wonder. I wonder. What can I do for you, Batman? Classic Superman here. Uh, I think it would have been fun to draw a whole book in this style. Oh, look at that. Jimmy Olsen and Lois Lane. There's Clark Kent. 
Changing into Superman. Dun, 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 dun. Oh no, Joker has uh, Lex Luthor tied up. What? That can't be. Say it isn't so. And these books, I believe, are still available. So if you're really uh, curious and want them, uh, go to Amazon and you could get them. This was just fun drawing this. You know, I will say drawing simpler like this is definitely a little bit faster for me. If I'm going to be honest, it's a little bit faster. And I love what Brad did for the coloring, but at the same time, uh, and they wanted simple coloring, simple rendering, but I would love to see this stuff colored, uh, colored today. With, well, the technology hasn't changed, just colored in a more realistic style. I think it'd be kind of fun to see the colors cut loose. Here's a printing error right here. I just noticed. I never noticed that before the plate shifted or something. I remember I had this thigh drawn bigger and they were like, oh, smooth that out. Smooth that out. He's too big. It's like, geez, Louise. Okay. Ow. Why are you hitting me in the head with your batarang? Here we come to save the day. Whoa, what's Batman doing hitting on Lois? Not cool, Batman. Not cool hitting on Lois. And then, of course, the handshake heard around the world. Batman and Superman joining forces. Did a little more cartoony stuff here with the size of the eyes and, and stuff as well. Fun stuff. And then Alfred's like, whoa, Bruce, it seems like you had a good time. Bruce is like, just shoot me some more uh, beverages, please. Here's another one I did. I did this uh, Superman Silver Banshee. I did the Fright Club right here. I didn't draw the cover. This was my first one, Superman Attack of the Toy Man. So there's three more, so that adds seven total I've done. Oh, and then I did this Batman versus Catwoman from that Batman movie. So I think that's it. I think those are the eight, but these are the four. Got to do the old Superman Day of Doom, fighting Doomsday, Simplify, simplified, bleh, cartoonier version of Doomsday. Pulling headshots from inside the book that I did. Doomsday bursting out. And then now that Doomsday sets off to the city. Remember, these are for young readers. So uh, more simplified drawing. More, and that goes with Doomsday too. Doomsday, you got to keep them a little more simplified. Not as, not as monstrous and stuff. Cause these are supposed to be for little kids. Uh-oh, there's a whole lot of shaking going on. And I would have to submit uh, layouts for every page. So, you know, when I draw comic books, I don't expect to have to do that because I'm hired for my storytelling and that's just the way it goes. And honestly, out of 31 years drawing comics, I only had to submit layouts once and I did it for about five pages. And then I just, oh, I'm holding up quotes, slip my mind to keep sending them to the editor. But for this, you have to, to make sure they can fit the text in and stuff like that. So it's easier to submit rough layouts than full pencils in case I would have had to have adjust something. Uh, sometimes I knew how much space would be taken up. You know, they were, they were pretty good about sending the stuff uh, over. Like I knew this was going to be a two-page spread, for instance. I knew this was a two-page spread. Superman punching them in. These are great if you have any little kids. I've signed a few of these at conventions, but not many people know about this stuff. Superman going, that's right, I saved the day. Not too fast, Superman. Doomsday is bursting up out. You didn't save anything. Smush. Now, this was fun. I don't remember if I had an... I, I think I might have done a different drawing of him underneath here that was a little more violent. And it was just like, man, it's a kid's book. 
And, and that's good. That's the editor's job is to pull, you know, the editor was actually a fan of mine through the comic book work I did. And um, I sent him this drawing I did of Batman and Superman in my sketchbook in this simple style with a cover letter saying, you know, I'd love to do something like this, explaining who I was. And I remember he wrote back saying, dude, I know who you are. I've been a fan of your comic book stuff. I, I thought of you, but I didn't know if you could do a simpler style. So, you know, one of those things where it's like, oh, just ask. So he was glad I sent him the sample. And, uh, and there were things I'd have to pull back on. The amount of muscle detail, if something was too violent, I would have to have redone it. So things like that. Superman's like, I'll use my heat vision. And then my cool breath. And then I'll go over to uh, the Fortress of Solitude, get the old uh, Kirby-looking projector to the Phantom Zone gizmo, fly back around. Oh, you got out just in time. Zap, zap, zap to the Phantom Zone you go. Uh, not reading any of this text as it is. Just trying to make it fun for you guys. Uh, I can read to your kids. This is how fast Superman is. See you later. Hey guys, what'd I miss while I was in the bathroom? Oh well, I guess I'll see it next time. This is one of my favorites. Because, as you know, I'm a huge, huge Aquaman fan. So this is one of my favorites. Um... The one thing they did on this, because I have all my original art to this stuff, the one thing they did on this cover, which kind of annoyed me, because once again, I could have fixed it, but they didn't do a bad job. They thinned up Aquaman's neck. His neck used to be as wide as his, uh, used to be as wide as his collar, and just dropped straight down. I never really give a collar thickness like that. So his neck used to come out right in line with the side of his jawline, but they thought his neck was too thick, so whatever. That's minor, though. So let's open up. I am Aquaman. Man, 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 man. Start off with a nice beauty shot of Aquaman and beautiful mirror with Atlantis in the background. I love being able to draw the classics of these characters. The cartoon version of a seahorse. He's like, hello, Justice Leaguers. Thank you for helping out or coming to my aid. No problem, says Superman and Wonder Woman. And Aquaman's like, just look out over the horizon, Batman. Batman's like, I don't like to be hugged. I really don't like it. You know, we got them all on their seahorses with their breathing apparatus. Except for Superman. He's tough. He doesn't need no breathing apparatus. They go down to Atlantis. I remember I was supposed to create some generator in the background. So I was just trying to think of some Kirby-type design. It's like, this is my throne with my octopus topo. And this is the meal we're going to have with you guys. This was one of my favorite two-page spreads to draw. I like the way Mirror came out. Dig the way Aquaman came out as well. It's like, come sit down, have some food. Oh no, Black Manta showing up. Dun, dun, dun. He's like, whoa, I can sense it. Superman's like, what? What can you sense? They could have used this as a coloring book too because of how open it was. I remember the editor sent me a drawing by Ivan Rice of the Justice League kind of rushing at us. He wanted me to kind of homage and go off of, so I did. And then we get the uh, Black Manta and uh, King Shark. Uh-oh, it's about to get real, y'all. Green Lantern's doing his thing. She's coming in doing her thing. Superman punches out King Shark. Black Manta, Blue Jim, Aquaman. Oh, man, this was so much fun to draw. So much fun. 
And then uh, Aquaman uses his staff there for a little, uh, little uh, what would you call that, cyclone of water. And that is it. They were able to use the cover for the last page. All right, last but not least, definitely not least, Justice League Partners in Peril, fighting the Mazo. I will say, if I were to do this cover again, um, I would have kicked this leg out maybe so you could see it come all the way through and see his foot, or I might have brought it up higher into here and then brought this leg well, this leg I'm sure I drew through. Anyhow, it's not, not one of my favorite layouts, but again, doing these kids' books, they're, uh, they're pretty tight with what you can do uh, on the covers and stuff. So this is, a, this is a pretty dramatic fight scene for a kids' book, is what I'm trying to say. Justice League, Partners in Peril. Once again, my buddy Brad did the coloring. Sorry that this paper's a little shiny, or I'll do my best as I hold it up. Of course, you got the three flying over the city. Uh-oh, there's a mazo causing trouble. People are like, we got to get out of this place. We got to get out of here. The mazo's like, I will take all your powers because I am a mazo. So I can do that. Hawkman's like, no, you took my flying powers. Man, I would love to draw Martian Manhunter just huge. Superman tries to punch him. That doesn't work. Hawkman's like, well, take my mace to your face. Whoa, you turned intangible. I didn't know you could do that. And they go back to Justice League headquarters. Or no, they phone in saying, we need some help. So this is one of my favorite two-page spreads. Classic Green Arrow sitting there. And of course, you know, Green Lantern flying into the scene. Uh, Flash, Black Canary. I think they joined the battle. Oh yeah, here they come. Here they come to save the day. That's right, Flash is like, I'll just run around you real quick. It ain't nothing but a thing. Oh, she, he's using Black Canary's powers and the Flash's powers against him. Who will save the day? Green Lantern, man. That's right. My man, Green Lantern. You know I'm a big Green Lantern fan. One of my favorite spreads here. Oh, he's like, I can do that too. What are we ever going to do to beat him, Batman? Well, Flash. We'll hit him with all our powers at once. Dun, dun, dun. What's that going to do? <gasps> He's short-circuiting. And exploding. And then we get the nice group team shot to end the book. So, there you have it. Uh, if I can dig out and find the other kids' books I did, maybe I'll do a part two to this video. Of course, comment. Let me know if you want me to dig them out. And I did a couple Spider-Man books for uh, Marvel for the first redo of the Spider-Man films with Andrew Garfield. I did a coloring and activity book. I did a couple books like this. So I'll have to do a book look with the Spider-Man ones because I know where they are. Hey, thanks again for joining me. I'm Andy Smith your 31-year veteran of the comic book industry. Thank you for joining me. I hope you guys have a great day, evening, whenever you're watching this. Please, once again, if you haven't yet, seriously, go to the link below. Check out my book, First Man, a superhero for a new generation. You guys will love it. It's funny. It's action. It's adventure. Trust me. Click on the link. Go there and support me. I really appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.
Bet First Man 2 now, live on Indiegogo.